Chodesh Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yumi Masechet Eruvin. We are up to Perik Vav Mishnah Yud. Today's Mishnah Yud should be Leiru Nishmat Neria Ben Svetlana Ranbai Ben Eliyahu Ben Burcha Yisraelov Menuchatam Began Eden Amen. The Mishnah continues discussing the case of two courtyards, one inside the other. It begins with the case in which each courtyard made its own Eruv. Shachach Echad Min Achitzona Velo Erav. If one resident of the outer courtyard forgot and did not join in the eruv of his courtyard, hapinimit muteret, carrying in the inner courtyard is permitted because its eruv is valid, vachitsuna sura, and carrying in the outer one is prohibited because the resident who forgot to join invalidates the outer eruv. Mina pinimit velo erav, if a resident of the inner courtyard forgot and did not join in the eruv of his courtyard, but all the outer residents joined in the outer eruv, Carrying in both courtyards is prohibited. Now the inner eruv is invalid because of the resident who did not join. The outer eruv is invalid because the inner residents who have the right to walk through the outer courtyard did not join in its eruv. Now the Rav explains this Tana holds like the first Tana in the previous Mishnah. And therefore since the inner residents are prohibited to carry in their own courtyard because their eruv is invalid, they prohibit carrying in the outer courtyard as well because they have the right to walk through it. Now the Mishnah turns to a case where the courtyard joined in a single Eruv. Now in order to carry from one courtyard to the other, they joined in a common Eruv to merge their courtyards into a single entity. Natnu Eruvan b'makom echad. If they placed their joint Eruv in one place in the outer courtyard. Now the food collected for the common Eruv was placed in a house in the outer courtyard so that all the residents of both courtyards were considered residents of that house. And the reason the Mishnah must be speaking of a case where it was placed in the outer courtyard, we will explain soon. V'shachach echad ben apinimit ben min velo erav and one resident of either the inner or outer courtyard forgot and did not join in the eruv, shten asurot, carrying in both of the courtyards is prohibited because the eruv is invalid. Now since the courtyards joined in one eruv, it is invalidated if a resident from either one forgot to join. And the commentaries explain, since the eruv joins the courtyards, it is valid only if all the residents from both courtyards participate. Therefore, if a resident from either courtyard forgot to join, the eruv does not work. Now if the one who forgot to join is an outer resident, the inner courtyard can choose to dissolve the partnership created with the outer courtyard so that all the outer outer residents, including the one who did not join the Eruv, will be excluded from the inner courtyard. However, even this will not permit carrying in the inner courtyard because the Eruv was placed in the outer courtyard. And if the inner courtyard separates from it, they will be left without an Eruv at all. So by the same token, if the one who forgot to join is an inner resident, the outer courtyard will also not gain anything by separating from the inner courtyard because like we explained, when the inner residents are prohibited from carrying in their own courtyard, they invalidate the Eruv of the outer courtyard as well. However, the Rav does point out, this is only when the joint Eruv was placed in the outer courtyard. When the joint Eruv is placed in the inner courtyard and the one who forgot to join was an outer resident, the Eruv can still permit carrying in the inner courtyard because the inner courtyard can dissolve its partnership with the outer courtyard. And in this case, the inner courtyard is left with an Eruv that includes only the inner residents who are all members of the Eruv. Now, although the outer residents are still prohibited from carrying, this does not affect the Eruv of the inner courtyard. The Mishnah continues, if both courtyards were inhabited by lone individuals, meaning only one person lived in each courtyard, they do not need to join in an Eruv together, and carrying in both the inner and outer courtyards is permitted. And the commentators explain, since the inner resident is permitted to carry in the inner courtyard even without an Eruv, now because we know when there is only one resident Carrying is permitted even without an Eruv because both the house and the courtyard are the same domain. His right to walk through the outer courtyard does not prohibit carrying there. Now, the commentaries explain this ruling is in agreement with the first Tana in the previous Mishnah who holds that when carrying is permitted in the inner courtyard, the inner residents do not prohibit carrying in the other courtyard. Therefore, like we said, the Mishnah says... In the situation where both courtyards were inhabited by lone individuals, 
they do not need to join in and move together in carrying both the inner and outer courtyards is permitted. And that is in Rabotai of chapter 6, Mishnah 10. We continue now with chapter 7, Mishnah 1. Now, this Mishnah discusses a case of two courtyards that are separated by, at least, by a wall at least 10 Tfachim high. We know the minimum height for a partition is 10 Tfachim. If the wall is lower than this, then the two courtyards are considered one unit and a single Eruv is required. So the, the Mishnah is referring again to a case of two courtyards that are separated by a wall at least 10 Tfachim high. The wall has a window through which objects can be passed. Now this window is the only opening between the two courtyards. The Mishnah discusses the conditions under which these two courtyards may be joined together in a common Eruv. When there is a window and a wall between two courtyards, and the window is at least four tvachim by four tvachim in size and within ten tvachim off the ground. Now the measure of a tefach in current terms, the art school elucidated tells us in 03, ranges from 3.2 to 3.8 inches, which is 8 to 9.6 centimeters. Four tvachim equals between 12.6 and 15.2 inches, or 32 to 38.5 centimeters. And 10 tvachim equal between 32 and 38 inches, or 80 to 96 centimeters. So again, when there is a window and a wall between two courtyards, and the window is at least four tvachim by four tvachim in size, and within 10 tvachim off the ground, me'arvin shnaim, then the residents of the two courtyards may make two independent eruvs if they wish, meaning each courtyard may form its own eruv, because the wall divides the courtyards into separate areas. Now the Rav explains if the residents choose to form two separate eruvs, carrying is permitted between the houses and the courtyard into which they open, but carrying from the houses of one courtyard into the other courtyard by passing items through the window or over the wall would be forbidden. Vim ratsu echad, or if they want, they may make one common Eruv. Now, all the residents contribute food towards a co- communal Eruv and place it in a house in one of the courtyards. Now, if they choose to form one Eruv, carrying is permitted even from the houses of one courtyard into the other courtyard. The Mishnah says, again, if they want, they may make one common Eruv because the window is considered an entranceway between two courtyards. And since the window is both large enough and close enough to the ground to be used conveniently as an entranceway between the two courtyards to pass items through, they may be considered one unit and joined together in a single Eruv. However, if the window is less than 4 Tvachim by 4 Tvachim in size, or is entirely above 10 Tvachim from the ground, they may make only two independent Eruvs, but they may not make one common Eruv. Now in this case, the window is not considered an entrance, so that the courtyards are two completely separated areas. Now a window that is smaller than fourth Tvachim by fourth Tvachim is not easily used as an entranceway from one courtyard to the other. Similarly, a window that is higher than 10 Tvachim above the ground is also not easily used as an entranceway even if it's large enough. Now, it's, it is difficult to pass heavy objects through a window that is above 10 Tvachim from the ground as the commentators explain. Now, the Rav says, a window that is in a wall between two courtyards does not connect them if it is above 10 Tvachim from the ground. However, a window that is in a wall between two houses, even if it's above 10 Tvachim from the ground, it does connect them and allows them to join in a single Eruv. Now the difference, like we said, between a courtyard and a house. Since people normally place benches or other furniture along the walls of their houses, even a window above 10 Tvachim is easily accessible and usable as an entranceway between houses. Therefore, the commentaries say, if the window is too small, or two way off the ground, in our case we're discussing courtyards, the two courtyards may not join in a single Eruv. And the Rav does say the window is too high to be used as an entranceway only if it's entirely above 10 Tvachim from the ground. If even a tiny portion of the window is lower than 10 Tvachim, it can be used as an entrance between the courtyards and therefore allows them to join in a single Eruv. And that is an Abu Taif today's Mishnah Yemi. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen v'amen.